Hey guys, good morning. It is very early morning, as you guys can probably tell. And I'm actually just going to be getting ready because I'm going to be going out to breakfast and run a couple errands this morning. So I figured I'd sit down and do a little quick chit chat, get ready with me with you guys. As you guys can obviously tell, I changed my background around because I have some equipment coming in on Thursday that I needed to make room for and it's going to be lighting. So I don't need to be in front of the window anymore for natural lighting. I'm going to have actual studio lighting from now on in my videos and I'm very excited about it so I went ahead and just rearranged my entire bedroom did some feng shui and now this is going to be at least for right now the new setup for my channel videos I'm gonna do a very 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 simple smoky eye nothing too dramatic just because I'm not really doing anything outside of just going to breakfast obviously like I said and running some errands today so I don't really need to fully glam up but I am gonna be filming part three of my makeup collection video which will be up probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm putting this video up now to give you guys a short little break between the collection videos because I know sometimes those can be kind of just like blah. But I have seen your guys' comments, and I'm so happy you guys are enjoying it. If you guys want to see any of the products that you see in my collection series in a video that is more in-depth, let me know, and I will happily do that for you guys. So like I usually do every single morning, I logged on to YouTube this morning to check out what new videos are put up by my subscriptions. And there was one put up by I'm Just Here for the Tea that was around the Jaclyn Hill versus Trend Mood situation. I just wanted to go a little bit more in-depth on how I've seen people react acting to this announcement because a lot of people, a lot of people seem to be very, very upset that the collaboration was with Morphe and not with someone like Becca or a bigger brand. With the amount of hype that was going around, that this was going to be a collaboration with like Mac or or some other huge brand that you can find on like Nordstrom's or Saks Fifth or wherever you buy the really expensive makeup. And then when it got released that this was a Morphe collaboration, people were not very happy. Let me just read some of the reactions I've seen in this video. Like people are not very happy. They're reading her to filth in these comments. Two years on a Morphe palette and it looks like that. The way she was overhyping it made me think that she was working with MAC or ABH. Morphe is such a letdown, but at the same time, I'm not surprised. Morphe is the only company that will work with her at this point. She's made such a fool out of herself. She's a joke. And this one was the one that, to me, was the worst out of all of them. Going from Gerard Cosmetics to Becca Cosmetics, then to Morphe, is like going from the drugstore to Nordstrom's, then to the dollar store for makeup purchases. Holy shit. So as you can see, people are not happy whatsoever. What do you guys think? Do you think it's a letdown because it's a Morphe collaboration? There has been a lot of controversy surrounding Morphe just because there's a lot of confusion about whether or not it's a private labeled company or a company that actually produces its own products. And a lot of people seem to think that this whole collaboration with Jaclyn Hill and Morphe is a bunch of bullshit because she claims that this entire palette was handpicked and chosen and made by her, which people are kind of just like, mm, I don't think so because Morphe is a private label labeled company. Now the whole reason this video was put up was because of the big leak controversy that happened between Jaclyn Hill and Trend Mood, which is an Instagram profile. This video that I'm making right now is obviously about the comment section of this video because a lot of people are very upset about it. And here's another comment. Jaclyn is such a con artist, it's ridiculous. Karma is finally catching up with her. Whether this leak was intentional or not, this palette better deliver when it's released because of all the hype. Let's be real though, it won't because it's Morphe for fuck's sake. Biggest collab yet though, guys. Yes. Now the other big thing I've noticed on this whole thread of comments is that people are calling her out for being a liar about how long it has taken her to create this palette and if she did take that long to make the palette then she was in breach of a contract with Becca. So here's one of the comments that actually makes a lot of sense. That girl kills me with her lies. First she was collabing with Makeup Geek. Then she claimed she had been working for four to five years on her own brand. Then she got a collab with Becca so she dumped Makeup Geek of course. Fuck loyalty and friendship. Go for money honey. Then when when Becca was finished with her, all of a sudden she claims that she'd been working for two years on this palette with Morphe, which would have been illegal for her to do while under contract with Becca, and everyone knows that those Morphe palettes are pre-made in China palettes anyways. She didn't have fuck all to do with customizing it, just like the original one she came out with with them, which ironically wasn't even two years ago. I roll. This chick can't keep up with her own bullshit. Lie, 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 lie. And if you have Jacqueline on Snapchat that you know that she kind of took a dig at Becca Cosmetics in one of her recent snaps. In her Snapchat, she says Morphe is the best, most honest brand that she's worked with and not assholes out for money, which was obviously a dig at Becca because we all know what happened between her and Becca. 
And the last comment I'm gonna read that kind of pertains to the situation directly is, they might not want anything to do with her anymore because she probably tried to swindle more than a percentage of the profits from the product sales and was being stubbornly difficult. A company can't afford to put someone's name on a palette they manufacture and spend money on promotion for the products hoping it sells and have the collaborators sit there and demand more than their share of sales when they barely did any work on the project to begin with, aside from Snapchatting, Instagramming, or telling people about it in a video. That's literally all she did to help sell it and pick out what shade she wants. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think this was a huge overhyped project? Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and play the devil's advocate here because if I were in Jacqueline's shoes and a brand wanted to work with me on a palette, I would probably be super excited about it and talk so much about it being so excited about it, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I can understand why people are so upset because we were expecting this to be a huge release and all it turns out to be is Morphe and let's be honest, Morphe does not have the best reputation on YouTube and or Instagram because they use all these influencers to overhype their products these first six shades right here are all from Ofra, so we're gonna go ahead and just ignore those, but these are all from Morphe. And now let me just tell you right now, I did buy these shades because I wanted to investigate myself and see how good these were or how bad they were. A lot of people and a lot of influencers on YouTube like to overhype things because of course they get paid for it. Now I will say I was very impressed by some of the pigmentation of some of these shadows. Like the purple is very, very pigmented. Some of these shades are very, very good in quality as far as pigmentation but when it comes to applying these shadows onto your lid, I feel like these are probably some of the worst shadows to work with as far as blending. That's where a lot of the problems lie with Morphe shadows is the fact that yes, they can be good and a lot of people do like them, but at the same time, they're the hardest to work with. Now let's talk about the palette itself because a lot of people are saying it looks like a generic Morphe palette. I'm gonna insert a picture of the cake that was made that has all the shades that are supposedly in the palette on it and that's all we really have right now as far as like actual pictures of it. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about the palette because honestly, I know a lot of people are going to buy it, obviously, because it's Jaclyn Hill, and whatever she does tends to sell out very quickly. Jaclyn claims to have worked on that palette for two years, and I'm not going to knock that because it can take a very long time, but let's go back to what I mentioned about her working with Becca. Now, I don't know the legalities of the situation at all, but normally with contracts, especially with brands, at least the ones I've seen, you're not supposed to work with any other brands outside of the brands you're contracted with during the duration of the contract period. So that would mean that if she did indeed work with Morphe for two years on this palette, then she would be in breach of her contract, which obviously points out that she's got some very questionable practices of her own when it comes to doing deals with brands. Now let's look at the legalities of it. Becca can very well take Jacqueline to court because she was in breach of her contract if she did in fact work with Morphe for the past two years, even though she was working with Becca at the same time. I don't know guys, there's so many different aspects of this whole thing that just kind of puts both Jacqueline and Morphe in a bad light. Because if you think about it, yes, Jacqueline did agree to work with Morphe while she was working with Becca, but at the same time, wouldn't Morphe have known not to try to contract somebody who's already in contract with somebody else? And to me, honestly, if they did know that she was working with Becca during the time that they asked her to work with them on this palette, that definitely calls into question the practices over at Morphe and how they choose to run their business, because that's pretty shitty. I don't know guys, this whole thing, it just seems to be getting way out of hand with the whole release, but I do wish Jacqueline good luck with her release. So I'm gonna finish off my look today with the Cap On D lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. All right guys, so that is it for my get ready with me. As always with any of my videos that talk about things like this, leave your comments down below and tell me what you guys think about the situation. And please definitely check out I'm Just Here For The Tease video talking about the Jacqueline Hill versus Trend Mood situation. It's a very, very, very interesting situation and a lot of people think that they're actually working together to make this even more hyped than it needs to be. So with that being said guys, I will hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much.